guys, it's Kyle here from Team Moon. Today we're going to give you a deck profile on my X Saber deck. And I've been playing this deck since about, I want to say about 2010 or 2011. And it's always been one of my favorite decks of all time. And I'm really, really glad to have it back into my arsenal of decks. Uh, came first place uh, with this at, um, at Locals this week at the OTS. And uh, it was a really, really hard uh, kind of fought out tournament. But I did come first and I'm really glad for that. And uh, this deck has some good matchups in the current format, but it does have its uh, its weak points against like stuff that heavy combo decks like Metal Foe and stuff like that. But all in all, it's a pretty really solid deck, and it can it can get around pretty much any kind of board because there's a lot of big beefy monsters and it has a lot of back row destruction. Uh, so getting into the deck profile, guys, we have your three Heart and Soul of the deck. You have three Bogart Knight. Uh, he's like your marauding captain for the deck. When you summon him, you summon another X-Saber from your hand. Uh, he's really good for synchro plays and exceed plays because you can only use him for an X-Saber synchro, but it doesn't say anything about XCs because it came out way before that time. Um, but it's really, really good for that. That's a really good starter card. So you run three of that. Uh, next, you run three of your boy. You got three Dark Soul. He's your searcher deck. You need to run three of this card. He is insane. Uh, I wish they still had the ruling where if you sent the same Dark Soul multiple times per turn, you get multiple searches per turn. But now it's ruled that you only get one co uh, one search per copy. But it's still really, really solid. Uh, next you run probably your Brickiest monster, but he's also one of your best monsters. You run three Fall Roll. Uh, he kind of bricks because if you hard draw two in a row, then you're kind of screwed because you can't really summon anything. But if you control two x Sabres, you can special them for free from your hand. And then he's a monster reborn pretty much from your graveyard every single turn. Uh, next, we run three Ember's Blades. I was thinking about cutting this down to two because there is a lot of monster destruction in, other than battle. So his effect wouldn't really go off all that much. But when it does, he does float like crazy. He's kind of like a Yang Zing monster. And he sets you up for your next turn play. Uh, next for the tuners, so you run two full helm, full helm Knights. Uh, he's really good, he negates an attack, and he special something from the graveyard when he destroys something by battle. But the 1300 attack doesn't really help him to do that very often, as you would probably assume. But he's really good overall, he's level 3 tuner, he's a warrior. Uh, next you're on 2 Pashuals, this card can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, which comes in really really handy against the uh, the Invoke deck, because they can't really get around it other than popping it with a Dryden or something if they run that. But uh, other than that, he's a really good wall, and you can special summon from the deck with the card you'll see later. And lastly, for the tuners, you run two Arabellums. Uh, you're running these because you run another card in the deck, and the fact that this is a level 3 beast tuner is really, really important. Also, he has an added bonus where if you inflict battle damage with this card, you make them discard a card, which does come up sometimes, but not all the time, but it's pretty good. And for the last, uh, one of the last monsters in the deck, you run the one Rescue Cat. Uh, so glad this card is back. This card is crazy. Uh, it special summons a Dark Soul and an Arabellum from your deck pretty much because it's two level 3 beasts. And that lets you go to an, into a Hewn to blow up 3 back row and you get a search in the end phase. This card is just insane. So that's a lot of Crystal Wing plays as well. And lastly for the monsters you run one max seed because it's at one and you want to max out on it when you can. That's it for the monsters. For the spells you run two tankies. Uh, you run these just for consistency so you can search Bogart Knight. He's your only target but He's one of your main starter cards, so you want to see him as often as possible. Uh, next to the spells are all just 1-ms. You run 1 in Suffusion because it's not like a vital combo piece for the deck. But uh, when you do when you do see it, it is pretty good. And you want, you want to see it kind of like mid-game because your deck needs a lot of setup because where it's relatively slow. Uh, you run 1 Rota so you can search your Pashul or your Full Helm Knight. Uh, 1 Soul Charge just for doing extended plays. And 1 Regeki for a board clear. Next for the traps, you run one Reinforced Truth. Now, a lot of people probably don't know what this does, but what it does is special summon a level 2 or lower Warrior Monster from your deck, and you can't conduct your battle phase this turn. But if you pop this during your opponent's end phase, and you summon your Pashual, and then you summon your Rescue Cat, that's like an automatic Crystal Wing. It's ridiculous. It's also good to summon the Pashual on your opponent's turn if uh, they're trying to OTK you, and you want to set up a wall so they can't get past it in the battle phase. Uh, next you run 2 Gotham Z Calls. I was running this at 3, but I was finding it was bricking, and you see it when you need to. But basically, it special summons 2 X Sabres from your graveyard. Um, any 2 X Sabres, mind you, so it could be Gotham's, could be Fault Roll, could be anything. It's crazy. This card is insane. 
Uh, next for the chest, you run three Quakings. This has good synergy in the deck with Full Helm Knight. Because when you destroy a face down uh, defense position monster with Full Helm, you get to spell someone next to from your graveyard. So that's really good. Um, this deck also needs a lot of defense because it's kind of slow compared to the rest of the decks in the format. And it needs a lot of setup time, so this kind of enables that. Uh, next, you're running just the one Storming because uh, for space reasons, like you need a lot of defense, but I'd want to bump this up to like two or three, but there's not really any more room in the deck. Uh, next you're running 3D Barrier, it's broken, you need to run 3 of this in pretty much every deck that you're playing, uh, without question. Uh, it's insane, shuts down every other deck. Uh, then you're running 2 Strikes and a Warning. Uh, these go without saying, they need the added Negation just because the deck is kind of slow, but uh, this allows them to set up a lot more efficiently. And lastly you run the 1 Trenchal, and that's it for the Traps, for another board clear. And for the extra, you're playing one Gotham's. He's a 3100 beat stick. He can loop your opponent's hand. Uh, I'm not playing Regagura because I find the hand loop thing doesn't come up too often. And uh, I'd rather pretty much every other card instead of just a bricky Regagura. So I don't run that. But you can still loop two or three cards of your opponent's hands just by regular plays. So one's good. Uh, next, you're running two Hinleys. Uh, when this card is synchro summoned, you can destroy up to three back row on the field. Uh, and that's crazy. This You can destroy two pendulum scales and a field spell or three back row, and it's pretty crazy. This card's like way more nuts than Twin Twister, and it came out years and years and years ago. Uh, you can get it out, so you're going to run a Cherry Beast. It's broken. You're going to run a Brio for clearing some fields. Uh, you're running Colossal Fighter. You do run a lot of Warriors in this deck, so he does get pretty beefy. And uh, when he goes, you can special summon something like, like a Hyunlei or something from your graveyard. And just go off even further. Uh, you're gonna start a Spark Dragon for some more protection and some just versatility plays. Uh, you're gonna Scarlight for nuke in the field and doing extra damage. Uh, for anyone who can't see it, it's Scarlight. Um, so you need to run this uh, just so you can have an added board clear other than Regeki and Torrential and stuff. Uh, like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of potential for Crystal Wing in this deck, so you wanna run it. I get it out pretty much every single game within the first two turns, so it's pretty great. Uh, you're also running a Trish, just because you can summon a level 3 and then use your Gotham Z Call and go into three, uh, two more level 3s, and there's your Trish right there. That's it for the Synchros, now we're going to Insufusion Target, it's Norton. Uh, it goes without saying, it's pretty obvious what it's going to be. Uh, next you're running Utopia and Utopia Lightning. Uh, it's a really good combo to get over most decks, and it's pretty much needed in this format. Uh, you run a Castell just to get rid of problem cards and flipping stuff to pop with uh, with Full Home Knight, so that's edit synergy. And where you run three Fault Rolls, you do run the one Patalami M7. Uh, it's good for bouncing cards, and if you detach Fault Roll, you can also add Fault Roll back to your hand and special it again and then special something else from your graveyard. So it's a really good combo extender card. Uh, there's so many combos revolving around this card, it's insane. It'd almost take like a brand new like 10 minute video just to talk about how good this card is in the deck. Next, we're going to the side deck, I suppose. Now remember guys, this side deck is just for myself at my locals. You can definitely change it to what suits your needs, but for the purpose of my locals and stuff, and just around here, uh, this is what I'd choose to side. So you can decide whatever you need. So I'm siding one DD Crow, two Flying Seas, two Effect Failures as my hand traps in the side deck. Um, they work out pretty good. Uh, it's only mostly, uh, mostly for vocals though, so I wouldn't go bring in this side deck to like a YCS or anything. Uh, for more board clears, if you need them, there's Double Dark Hole. For effect negation, we have two Chalice. Chalice is really good. Uh, for Pendulum decks, we have Full House. Zoo, we have Chain Disappearance. And Blue Eyes, we have Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. Now these are all the decks I have prevalent at locals, so if you don't need to run these, you don't have to, but... Uh, I find all these cards just pretty much work out for what I need. And that's it guys for the deck profile. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel to comment below. Uh, shout out to Team Samurai X1 for the guest upload. Uh, really cool guy. Make sure to subscribe to him on Twitch if you have uh, Twitch Prime when he gets his sub button. Because I'm sure it's coming up pretty soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more like this. And thanks a lot guys. Goodbye.